Welcome to the Collaboration Over Competition podcast. Collaboration takes competing to the next level, unifying the team and coming out with the best medal. It's coming our assignment for alignment, just check schedules, a group meditation to dead the devils. In the future, I see us floating together, comprised with different combinations, like using multiple minds on one conversation. Imagine having the space for many stars in one constellation. What would the value be if we all felt rich in one compensation? It's the power in numbers and we can't let nothing stop the mission. I'm optimistic. It's collaboration over competition. Rising way above the opposition. Who rocking? I want to talk to you about, man. I, I feel like that isn't talked about enough. Um, is I, I wanted to know, you know, where does your passion to give back to the community come from, man? Because looking, you know, back on what you've done, man, this ain't something that you just now started doing. Like, this has been over a decade you've been giving back to the community, pouring into Wichita. I want to know where does that come from, man? Because not everybody, you know, come back and pours into their community like you have. Mm -hmm. uh, just for me being one of those kids that, that wanted to be poured on, <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I, I needed I needed to to um to see some of those and i'll just stay athletics because you know i was able to do that but i needed to see some of those guys that made it big come back home yeah to touch me and see me like hey man what's up bro how you doing handshake i'm like oh he's he really real yeah he's he's a real dude yeah. you know what i mean to see what type of clothes he was wearing and oh man that's the swag this is it. this cool that's not cool yeah um so even on just a grand scale um like i said outside of athletics just you know just trying to show people a different way um yeah. you know what i mean giving them the resources hey man you didn't met me nice. so if you know me you know it's what is this the, the cliche the six degrees of separation yep. if you know me then i know somebody that might know somebody that might know somebody right. um just giving that 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 green light to open that door man to to make sure that i openly stay involved in this community the community is always hurting it's always needing something it's always needing a voice um and you know i just i just i don't want to be i don't want to be remembered by um not going in the community i'd rather i'd rather have more positive memories of me being in there hands-on than for me not you know for people to be saying that i'm not around a lot of times the work you do in the community goes unnoticed you know yeah. what i'm saying i uh, i seen you just talking at the school a couple weeks ago you see yeah. what i'm saying so uh you know i commend you my, my brother and like even you answering that question it sounds like bro like you really leaving you really living your own dream like yeah you became the, you know what you wanted to be you see yeah. what i'm saying and not a lot of people get to do that. So, like, I commend you because, you know, you went the Nipsey Hustle route. Yeah. And I want, I want to tell the audience out right now, hey, the city of Wichita, hey, protect this, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Man, hey. it's, it's God's go. It's inevitable, man. That's why I just, I try to live that. You know what I mean? A lot of people, oh, man, you need to get out your city. If this is where they're going to take me, this is where they're going to take me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, you can do that in Texas. You can do it in Iowa. We can be in Mexico. We can be in France. Fast. You know what I mean? So I don't want to, I don't want to live. Um, behind that narrative of of of, of being somewhere, because um, that is the narrative when you stay in your hometown. Correct, correct. that the, is the quote, quote the boosty glad interview. Yeah, hey, <laughs> I mean, if that's if that's what it is, I and I understand it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? What's crazy about it is I do understand why that could be that way. You know yes. what I mean? Because people yes. grow up with you and they think they know you mm -hmm. and they think they know the new you yep. and they think just because y'all was running around smoking weed sixth grade that you still doing this or you he was putting his money in the shoebox when he was doing this so he got to be still doing that. Yeah, they think they know you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And 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 that's why that perception or that's why that um that narrative is like that man because yeah. you know it's just it's just different you know yeah. what i mean it's just different when you at home man people think they know you they, they feel like because they got a couple stories on you that they know the real you and they don't man yeah. they, they they've never sat down and had a conversation with you like we were talking about it's all be our perception yeah no uh that that's a you know a, a unique answer man and you know, knowing the realities of what it could be like in your hometown, you know, you got to move, right? So it's good that you're mindful of it. But, you know, uh, like we talked about earlier, you know, you come correct. You know what I'm saying? Your face card good in the city. Like, yeah. so I don't feel like that's things you have to worry about, but life is life. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Correct. So, uh, to, to the city of Wichita, once again, hey, protect this, man. <laughs> hey, don't nothing happen, nothing happen, nothing in the city happen to Nook, man. You see what I'm saying? I don't be in nothing, man. They know me. I'm out the way. And when y'all do see me, it's going to be good energy. I ain't got nothing negative to bring to you. Hey, man. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's, that's how we coming, man. All right. That wraps it up, my man. Yes, what's up? Uh, a new question that I haven't uh, asked my guests before, but I want to try it out. So uh, is there a guest that you would recommend for our show or somebody, you know, that, that, that you would suggest that for our audience, you know, for the conversation and the things that we talk about? And if you do, uh, you know, you can state that and, and after you're done with that, you can just give out your shout outs, any shout outs you have, and then we do that kind of wrap up the show. Um, yeah, my, my little brother, okay. Cameron. Um, 
just because of you know all the all the different type of uh cameron who cameron mac okay um, yeah that's my middle brother um, okay. he's out in la right now oh yeah i seen him yeah huh? yeah he's, he's doing big things man and his story is completely different from mine and we grew up in the same household you yeah. know what i mean so um his journey the things that he's had to overcome um you know is is light years ahead of our story man you mm. know when I, every time i talk to my little brother man he's he's so smart and, and just um so aware and you know so brilliant when it comes to um you know being able to speak and and, and make you understand his thoughts mm -hmm. um is he the one that's into fashion i believe yes okay. uh, we all into fashion yeah, 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 I, cause no, I don't know why he be saying no, that no, 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 uh, he, I, we all into fashion facts, yeah, facts, i was here facts. first so he had to, he had to look at somebody getting dressed <laughs> but uh um you know he's just i feel like that would be um a great story especially for wichita to hear man you know with, with, with my little brother man being able to to um share his experiences here as well um, mm -hmm. my experience was like i said different from his yeah um so that would be that's, somebody would be dope man that's dope man before you get your shout outs a uh, quick backstory I, ne I never met your brother cameron too but back when i have or i still have my king brand clothing mm -hmm. clothing uh, clothing line but back when i you know uh, i had things going I had reached out to your brother. I was gonna send him some gear one time. Uh, he sent me an address out in New York to mail it out. Yeah, that's where he's living. But I, I never sent it, man. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna get you right, Cameron. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for bringing that up. Uh, it's interesting that you said that. So uh, no, no I, I definitely appreciate that, man. And uh, if you have any shout outs you wanna give, man, and to end out the show, you know, that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, shout out to Wichita, man. Hey, shout out go. to everybody that supported me. Shout out to everybody um, that, you know, um, was genuine along the run, um, and you know, shout out to my family, shout out to the Mac, shout out to the Carters, amen, amen. Um, shout out to the T crew. <laughs> there you go, there you go, amen. Season one, episode five, man, legendary episode, legendary. Albert Nook Mac in the building, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you for stopping by, my man. Appreciate it. Brother. All right, man. See y'all.